everyone and welcome back to Zudesia where look behind me right now. <gasps> Did you see him? I wasn't looking him in the eye. I wasn't looking him in the eye. Oh, that was awesome. That's only like the third or so Enderman that I've even seen on the server, mostly because I'm so busy. I never am really out at night, but welcome back everyone. I am here with our adorable little pup pup pine standing under the beautiful cherry blossom tree planted by Mindy so long ago, getting ready for another market day. Yay, market days, yay. So basically the goal of market day is to make as much money as we can so that we can afford to feed all of our hungry puppies and take care of the many, many various tasks around the zoo, such as the goal being today to get lots and lots and lots of gold coins so that we can be able to buy enough bamboo shoots to get the panda reserve built. So I'm super excited about that and it means that we're going to spend a little bit of time just seeing how much gold we can manage to rummy up like from various places. and. And hello, Papa. Don't worry, you guys. I haven't forgotten about you. What they also are reminding me is that they are going to want some treats, right, Lily? Do I have any zombie jerky? No, but I have some chicken. Lily girl wants some chicken. There you go, Lily. There you go, Tay. And here you go, Pine. These dogs are so good, I swear. Oh, I love having my constant companions with me. They're just my best friends. All right, and then Iris. There you go. All right, I'm going to put this in here. All right, pup pups. Lily, actually, Lily, why don't you just stay with me today? But Tate, why don't you keep Iris company? I'm going to bring Pine with me, too. We're starting to do it this way, a buddy system. Oh, look at all their little tails wagging. We're starting to kind of make a buddy system where I will bring two dogs with me and leave one dog here with Iris. Oh, but look at Tate and Iris sitting together. Oh, they're just so precious. Oh, I love it. But we spent all day, all day earlier today harvesting up quite a few of harvest well cutting down the trees and oh my gosh this diamond axe I want to go downstairs in fact I am going to go downstairs all right pine lily stay for just a minute darlings okay good not only are we gonna I know major Calhoun I am going to build you that little like sofa and make you a little introduction desk I promise this is the staff lounge though it's not like people should be coming in here for for anything because this is the staff lounge I mean look we have the staff rules how many of you guys haven't seen the staff rules yet <clears throat> staff rules check your underwear for leeches no swimming in the lava or tar pits a rule that Lily often seems to disregard do not get eaten by zoo residents do not create animals without permission remember your poop scooping 101 classes and then I'm thinking of adding the sixth rule finally and it should be something major Calhoun like don't let creepers into the kitchen maybe <laughs> no I'm sorry Major Calhoun that was a barbed a barbed comment I should say it should be something like the animals always come first or something noble like that still creeper Major Calhoun really what no freezer bunny <laughs> Assistant Freezer Bunny, what have I told you? This might be a bad relationship for you if she keeps encouraging you to come upstairs like this. You're gonna lose your boyfriend to like cow death if you keep this up, Professor Cowplant. There you are. Are you two trying to run away? Trying to elope? He has he has like a, a doctorate to earn over at the Dino 101 Academy. Honestly, these cows, they're always getting up to stuff. But anyway, I do want to go downstairs and I want to name this like diamond axe, like uh, the sapling saver or like, uh, what should we call it? In fact, I'll let you guys help me out with that. This diamond axe makes it so that so many saplings fall from trees when I cut them down. I have buku bucks of saplings right now, which is totally amazing. Uh, so what do you guys think we should we should do with those saplings. Like, what do you, oh, yay, Penguin Fern's still here. Or not do with the saplings, but what do you guys think we should name the axe, this awesome axe that produces so many saplings for me? Uh, I'm really not sure what to name it right now. Oh, look at him. He's just checking out the aquarium from like an upper story. Let's see, that's a horse mob, there we go. You gotta stay downstairs, that's where it's safe, Assistant Freezer Bunny. Besides, you're in, you're gonna be the assistant like researcher of the cryogenics lab, so you need to stay down here. And there we go. And let's put the wood away. We have enough wood to take care of our carpenter's block needs for quite a while. And then let's get to making some money, because that's what today is all about: making money and snagging ourselves a few awesome. Um, in fact, I'm gonna get some essence berries while we're up here. 
Ooh, lots of essence berries. And snagging ourselves a few awesome mystery safari nets. So we'll have to work on that too. In fact, num 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 num. Yay. Lots of levels. I love my essence berry piles. They're just awesome. We're going to come over here. And we're going to make a whole bunch of safari nets. I'm just thinking ahead a little bit. Okay, so we've only got enough string. Okay, so I know a few of the, this is kind of, these market day episodes, in case you guys don't know, are kind of like our chore day episodes, where we figure out what needs done, and we go ahead and take care of things around the zoo. There's always more to do in the zoo, always more to do in the zoo. But let's see, we'll have to work on that. What do I have? I haven't been very faithful about actually tending to our market orders. <laughs> I've been so bad about that. So bad. I know the avocado actually uh, will go in town. So I'll put the avocado there. Mango juice I think is just a me thing. Um, we can go talk to Christina about all the oak saplings. I know that'll work. Uh, she'll take quite a few of those. We have almost, almost the two orders worth of lettuces. We need two stacks of lettuce in order to complete a special order that one of our wonderful villagers has for us so let's go ahead oh yay my tea is ready too there we go i'm gonna get a little bit of tea going as well Ooh, vanilla beans oh look at that dang it i need now i actually need like more wood in fact what i was thinking of doing is putting a chest out here that can be our wood chest and then whenever we need wood for the fire, we can come over here. And the reason I use wood for our kitchen fire, as Artemis knows, is that wood adds a nice touch. A nice, a nice touch. You want to cook with wood. I want my, my food to smell like wood, not like coal. But we do have coal for emergency backups. And apparently a couple cups of tea already, so I'm already on top of it. Um, I am going to be a bit of a cheapskate and stick the coal in here for now and cook up more of our potatoes because we are basically going to make um make our wonderful our wonderful ethan is it ethan yeah i'm pretty sure it's ethan yes ethan inside of the temperate bird aviary dead broke because he takes baked potatoes and we have so many potatoes after the potatoes rained from the sky <laughs> when calf and i were doing a bit of exploring so we're gonna have so many potatoes you guys it's it's gonna be ridiculous um so while we're gardening and getting the last of the lettuce that we need yay for this special order there we go we'll be able to plant something else for a while but i really love lettuce actually so i have no problem with uh just harvesting a bazillion things of lettuce might have to get that chicken for a chicken coop eventually put you there but yeah, our villagers sometimes put in special market orders. We have one that I need to write down that's actually from uh, Raptifarian, because he really is eager to get to work on the actual raptor area. So I'm eager for that too. It's just we'll do pandas first, and then maybe raptors. Ooh, do we get... Okay, don't be alarmed, turnip head. I'm just harvesting your children as usual. Nope, just one. But I heard that this Fortune 3 pick, or Fortune 3 pick, what? This Fortune 3, um, oh my goodness, that's really fast, Turnip Head. You are just growing them like, like nobody's business. The pumpkin stork just arrives in no time here, eh? But um, I have heard that this Fortune 3 Diamond Axe will actually give us a lot more melons. Like so many melons. It should be quite amazing. All right, and then we've got some bamboo and some turnips. I'm gonna keep growing those. Whoops, no, I don't want a turnip there. I want bamboo there. And also I think I'll put bamboo at the back. And then turnip. Oh, I have some random seeds. <laughs> I'll just plant this leek seed. It'll sneak in the back. There's a turnip. And then turnip and turnip, there we go. Thank you very much, turnip head. I guess it's appropriate to be growing. Oh, the snail is, is curious. How's our, our snail, by the way? Or the slug is curious, I should say. How's our garden snail? Still there, still adorable. Plain hangu snail. Are we playing? Whoa, I can go snail off the cliff. <laughs> Siri, what was that? Playing hide and go snail with the snail on the edge of a cliff and just like, I can go snail. Yeah, no. <laughs> Siri. Oh dear, sometimes I worry about me. 
I know the truth. It's plants. That means I'm going to rush off a cliff because I'm not paying attention to things enough. Um, I, could, I swear that one of our newest... Was it Mandy? No. Ah! Oh, it was one of the girls in uh, the village. We'll trade us for blueberry juice. So we'll make some blueberry juice too. All right. How's this going? Whoops, that's the presser. All right. Making slow but steady progress over there. Um, we might need to sort these berries out, but we'll do that later. All right, let's get the blueberries. So we'll turn all of those blueberries into blueberry juice, and then we'll put um, the leafy green food, we'll put this lettuce away in here, and the turnips away in here, and we'll swap out, ooh, we have a lot more lettuce than I thought. Whoa, hey, open up closet. I love this closet, by the way. I'm very proud of it because <laughs> we had this like t weird two box place that I wasn't really sure what to do with. So we made a closet. It's awesome. Yay. Now we have two stacks of lettuce and that will be wonderful because that will actually give us uh, quite a bit of coins. Uh, I can't remember how many coins, but quite a bit for completing a market quest. Still tinkering out the market quest ideas. But as I say, if you guys type in market quest like and you have one of the NPCs or you have an idea for a market quest and try to make it a nice challenging one that could have potentially a story that we get into behind it but if you tell me a market quest there's a good chance that we'll end up doing it in the future the point of market quest is to give us something to work on during the week and then to have fun to have fun like we have fun gardening so we're doing a bunch of gardening and we're gonna go harvest a ton of books from Twilight Forest for Joe so I'm excited about too that too that's the point Artemis that's the point I'm gonna stare at Bat Moth being adorable in the kitchen window and sip some tea. That's taken a while, so let's go talk to Christina really quickly and trade with Christina. Oh, and let me go get my coin purse. I think it's inside my house. I am still wondering about the mystery of the missing Bigfoot. I mean, how could I lose a gigantic fossil? That's really, it's really ridiculous. I hear calves behind it, but I don't know if that's true. I mean, calf wouldn't steal my fossil, would he? I don't know, I think there's something even more mysterious going on here. Hmm, we'll have to figure it out. All right, now we're gonna, oh, yay, our balcony chicken. I love how it's another camouflage chicken and Old Tail is just right over there. Hey, Old Tail. Oops, ah, dang it, okay. Oh, nope, you didn't see anything. I wasn't trying to feed the snake your egg. You saw nothing, you saw nothing, camouflage chicken. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's come in here. Yay, hey, Spots, how you doing? And let's speak with Christina. Yes, and she will trade us these saplings for a good bunch of coins. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Normally, we, we have a hard time getting this many saplings. So it's an abnormally high number of saplings. But look at all these coins we're raking in. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Making the money, making the money. All right, oh my gosh, we really are making the money. <laughs> All right, so we've got no 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 no. Okay there three there. I Know spots in fact, we're supposed to make some pet food for Christina and that'll feed spots So I think spots really hungry. I mean just look at those beautiful kitty eyes I think that's the sign of a hungry cat So we'll go ahead and we'll go back inside and we'll make some pet food for spots Which reminds me we still have to tame and get the um Yellow cat. Oh my gosh. We have so many coins. Holy days Christina. Thank you. Oh man, I just needed one more sapling. That's so funny. Okay, well, that's all right. But yeah. Oh. Wow, <laughs> actually, now that I look at it, <laughs> we have a lot of coins. That was awesome. That's what we get for actually doing our work and clearing one of the areas in town, so, or in the zoo, so that we can get ready for a new exhibit. We're really wrong in the money lately. I'm gonna have to like maybe you get some extra get some extra treats but let's figure out how to make some pet food oh there's a giant bumblebee in my face because i think spot is hungry spots is hungry so fish and pork chop pretty sure we've got some of that hanging out in the kitchen so let's go mix that together we'll wash our hands before we do wash your hands after we do always careful handling raw meat pup pups so you guys are just going to snarf it down and then lick my face all right hello artemis how's the cooking she's such a good cooking cat so in the meat freezer, we do indeed have quite a lot of fish. I don't, we don't want to give her too much. This is fresh food, so it can go bad. So we'll make like that much for her. Okay, close the door. All right, pardon me, Artemis. 
Wash, 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 wash. Gotta keep our hands clean. Artemis. Here, here. I got an idea, sweetie. Hang on a sec. I'm just gonna scoot you over. There, like two steps. See? And now we both have enough room. Wash my hands. Come over here and cook up. Oh. Cook up some fresh cat food. That's probably actually enough cat food, to be honest, because um, any more and it'll probably go bad before Christina uses it for her kitty. Do you want some Artemis? Do you want to be my taste tester? What do you think? Ah, that's what I get for having you as the kitchen cat. You are just, you're finicky. You're very finicky. She's a little bit spoiled. She's always in the kitchen, always cooking with me, so she knows she, knows she can hold out for the good, good stuff. I thought it was quite good, but I'll take your opinion. Okay, wash, wash, wash. And now we're going to cook up some blueberry juice. Yay! And I really hope this was the juice that one of the new girls, wash, 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 and the dye, um, dye shop actually take. Though, oh my gosh, we have so many coins. I'm going to have to exchange some of those coins in for diamond coins because that's a lot. I don't even think we're going to need to get as many coins as I thought right now from uh, Ethan, actually. So I might leave those in there. We'll pack these, pack this, and I think those strawberries are good for something. So we'll take that, taking all of it to the market. Let's go trade this with Christina, and then I'll take a quick snooze, because we don't want to go into town when it's night. That would be very rude to the villagers. Summon all the zombies to come eat the precious villagers. Hello, balcony chicken. I should say camouflage chicken, or I guess gazebo chicken. Oh, wow. Look at how beautiful sunflower, like, tree is behind the little, the little balcony. That's so cool. All right, Christina, I come bearing you cat food. Much cat food. And we'll go ahead, trade with her. Ta-da! Yay! That was pretty easy. All right, and let's go trade. Having all of those saplings was definitely our moneymaker, like, today. It's funny, because every week... We usually have a different moneymaker thing. Oh, it's almost daytime. I guess we'll just putter around. Uh, I guess we can watch, like, the sunrise. Is this a tree? Huh. It's just this tree is nothing but leaves. Did I put that there? I don't remember. I kind of feel like, you know, when somebody sneaks around and they have, like, a bush on them in the movies... I kind of feel like there's somebody, no, it's just a tree, but you're like, has that bush always been there? It'd be sucky if people tried to do that to me, Crow, because I remember my plants and their placement, usually. Oh, one of my little green snails. All right, Ethan, do I ever have a deal for you? <laughs> and I really need to, I'm going to have to temporarily, due to, um, what do they call it? Due to an influx, what the heck? Ethan! I hear it. Hey, hey, die! Bad silver skeleton. Oh, good. Well, everybody's okay. Maybe it was just admiring my birds. I don't know what a silver skeleton would want with my birds, but I'm not taking any chances. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say, due to a uh, sudden influx of product, the supply has now exceeded the demand, and so the the, ch the price I can charge Ethan in the future for gold coins will drop off drastically. I think that's only fair, all considering, look how much money I am rolling in now. Oh, yeah. Bob's guardian is actually very careful for the birds. Uh -huh. And they seem to love to perch on his head as he walks around. Fascinating. Oh, is Bob's guardian still in here? Oh, my gosh. It's looking kind of morbid with all these crows. Like, this is a secret battleground. Well, Bob's guardian is still here. Hey, Bob's guardian. We'll have to take down that little tree house, or we'll turn it into like an observation post for people so they can climb up and like see the birds from above. I feel like we need to take the crows to a cornfield, the ravens to a cornfield or something. Make it just tiny little temperate tweety birds in there. And we need to catch so many more of them. Yay! And our cherry tree has grown. Wonderful. All right, well, actually, we've got a ton of money right now. So let's go ahead. We'll head into town. We'll take the dogs with us. I need to buy a lot of dog treats. And I need to buy uh, a few other things. I see those tails wagon. I see those tails wagon. Hang on, guys. I'm almost done. All right, let me pop in here. Open this up. I hear broomtail braying upstairs. Um, should be good. 
should be good. And then, doo -doo -doo -doo. there we go. All right, Pine and Lily, come with me. And we're gonna go on a little walk, on a little walk to the Village of Light. Thank you, thank you. Oh, she's like taking her egg back. She's like, no, you were trying to feed my egg to, uh, to the snake. I'm not letting you have that egg. Don't worry, balcony chicken. I'll find a good place for this egg. In fact, I think that actually Daisy inside the dove uh, aviary in the Village of Light, because the Village of Light, ooh, little hiccup there. The Village of Light is all about, um, you know, light and light things. Oh, there was a zombie here. That's what that whole nonsense was about. Lily girl, you want to treat you? Who's hungrier? Oh, well, Lily came first. <laughs> Sorry, Pine. I don't think you like it as much as your aunt anyway. But yeah, the Village of Light is all about um, light and bright things and pretty things and, uh, you know, white, clear stuff, stuff like that. Did we do? I wonder which bird that was, because that was actually not sunflower, because that we just passed the chocobo aviary. Oh, Vanessa, you scared me making all that weird noise. Oh, wait. I think the weird noise was actually a golem dying. Go, Toby, you're earning your keep. My gosh. All right, well, let's come down here and then, um, let's see, first things first, we'll go visit the people I have some orders for. Oh, and yay, iron! Thank you so much, generous villager. They're actually moving around a little bit more for a long, oh, yay, and there's some pork somewhere. Thank you so much, generous villager. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's go see if I was right about that dye shop girl uh, accepting the blueberry juice. So we'll see if that's actually what she wants to take from us. Do, 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 do. Olivia? Yes, I was right. Here you go, Olivia. I know you're very shy and new to town, but I just thought I would trade you some of them. Uh, this delicious blueberry juice. There you go. There you go. Is there anything we need from her right now? I am so tempted by all of these beautiful flowers. I think we're okay. Let's talk to Lucas. Anything I want from him right now? <gasps> Other than, oh, some appetites. Oh, no, Siri. Be a strong, Siri. You can walk away, Siri. But there's some stag or club moss on oh, aloe leaf. <gasps> oh, that's going to be hard to turn away from. Oh, what do your siblings sell again? I, I forgot already. Let's see, Rachel. Oh my gosh. Oh, and Super Piggy. How am I gonna resist the dandelion puffs? Oh, oh, you guys. You guys, I just, I just can't. All right, gotta walk away from here before I, before I spend all my money. Whew. Dog food first, that's kind of the goal. Um, I'm trying to remember. There's a bazillion and a half avocado. Hello, dear. I keep forgetting I need to relocate you. I'll take you to the forest nymph. Because the forest nymph would be happy to uh, have the deer relocated with her. I can't get the rest of the avocado because it's hanging over the fence. All right. Then we're going to gather this avocado up. Mm-hmm. 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 There we go. Thank you very much, Lily. Please don't try to help. Get it stuck in your inventory. All right, then we'll come over here. Hey, Ryan, guess what? I'm harvesting these avocado for you. You'll give me a buku bucks in a second. I am so rich now. I feel like obscenely rich, to be honest. You know what I should probably do, even though it kind of makes me go, no, I should probably work on uh, saving up. <gasps> the chroma flowers from the forest nymph. Maybe we could go get some of those and add them to our garden. I think it takes like a block of emeralds though. Oh man, that would be so expensive, but so awesome. But I was gonna say we should probably be responsible, save up and then get a bunch of dog food, like dried dog food to keep inside of uh, one of the chests in the kitchen. I'll probably do that too, because it's the responsible thing to do as a pet owner. All right, put that there, put that there. All right, here you go, my good friend. Normally the avocado takes forever to grow, so it's just kind of lucky that we caught it at a harvest cycle. Um, anything else? Oh, he does have some torch berries that we could feed to our moonworm queen. I feel like, okay, I'm gonna buy some to feed to our moonworm queen because she's awesome. And I feel like uh, she deserves at least that much consideration. 
Oh, and there's some fiddleheads and mush glooms. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I could, I could do some real shopping. I've never had enough money to do real shopping before. Oh, this is, this is really addictive, actually. Ah, oh, there we go. The two stacks of lettuce for six diamond coins. I forgot that's how much we were going to get from this. All right, one second. I'm going to make the transaction with Panda. All right. Thank you very much, Panda. I am quite pleased with our transaction. I hope you are. Oh my gosh, look at that. Six diamond coins. We have given her our stacks of lettuce and she no longer has us have that request because we have filled that request for her. Oh, that just, that just feels awesome. I'm so happy. Oh, we could get some of these from her. Oh my gosh. Oh, imagine all the crickets we could. Okay, no, no. Stay focused. Pine, what are you doing? Are you trying to go over to the poetry tree? I love the poetry tree. In fact, I think I had, oh, I forgot to bring Joe's coffee with me. Dang it. Well, we do have some strawberries. I think that peppermint trades for strawberries. Let me check. She does, and I have been growing these strawberries specifically so we can come and trade with her. We're gonna have so much money, you guys. I'm just, I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. I'm like super excited about this. Look, we can get like some peanut butter from her, or the pink gerbias, strawberry soda, maybe some, some bread. That sounds like ridiculous, but it's actually really hard to, to get bread. Okay, dog food first. And then let's go up here and I'm gonna try out uh, my diamond ax. Pardon me, pardon me, I'm trying so hard not to trample. I'm gonna try my diamond ax off this. Let's see. <gasps> Look at all that! Is nine the usual number? Maybe it is. And this isn't, this isn't like special at all. <laughs> but it feels special. Also, is that a stray ostrich? It is a stray ostrich. Let's catch it and let's put it in Dandy's farm. I'm so nervous I'm gonna like destroy the rest of their farm like that. <laughs> I was trying so hard to be careful. No, turnips, keep growing. Oh jeez, oh jeez, and all the birds. All right, and it's getting pretty late, so let's go ahead and catch this ostrich and put it in Dandy's farm for him as a kindness. Get out of the poetry garden, silly ostrich. Maybe it's one of his that escaped anyway. Then I guess we will go, okay, let's see, open this, walk through here. Here you go, Dandy. New female ostrich for you. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I was like, where'd she go? All right, so now I need to put this away. You guys, our entire coin purse is full. Oh my goodness. Yep, that hasn't ever happened before. So let me, let me shove everything we don't need out of my pack so I can actually see what we are doing. Let's go snooze. All right, Lily Tate. It's time to go party it up over at Teddy's Inn. We're gonna go take a nap in the inn. We'll shop for some dog food. And then, you know, I'm, I'm thinking we might have to spend a little bit of money. Teddy, I've got money to spend. In fact, I'm gonna splurge. Tonight I am eating, um, the glazed carrot meal. And I'm even gonna get, um, I'm tossing back, tossing back an orange smoothie. Look at me, I am a big spender. Yay, it feels so good, working hard, getting all that money from potatoes that rain down from the sky. All right, snuggle in, there we go. All right, and let's go see how the dogs are doing. It looks like they're already over at the doggy daycare getting their dog treats. So let's pop down there, get plenty of dog food. There's the cows, good. Hello, James, I am, what is that? Oh, Ela, Ela must have changed her name. I, I thought that was a zombie and I was just about to freak out. Ela, let me know what you changed your name so I can update your little dude. All right, then let's come over to James and we're gonna talk to James and let's see, what do the dogs want? Rabbit again. Oh, let's go with some bison and herb. So actually, it would probably be a very smart idea to spend a, at least a few of our stacks on getting dog food. Because uh, I have a lot of dogs all of a sudden. I have four dogs to feed. And when they're all like doggy talents dogs, you burn through the money or burn through the money because you burn through their food really quickly. And I don't like killing the animals. Plus, come on, this is gourmet dog food we're buying here. Oh my gosh, it really doesn't, I felt so rich. This feels just like being a real adult when you get your paycheck and you're like, I'm rich. And then you go grocery shopping and you're like, oh crap, where'd all my money go? That's what this feels like. 
All right, let's see. Well, we still have we still have a lot of money, so don't despair. All right, let's see. Let's keep going with the bison and herb. And then I did promise Lily I would pick up some treats too, so we'll get some treats. We really should make like a little a little chest in here. I'll come and cook with him one day, make a chest and put some samples, doggy samples in here. And he should probably sell the treats just very expensively. All right, so let's go ahead and I think we're gonna get, um, we're just gonna get some good old pig's ears. Sorry, Lily. Normally she likes the fancier beef liver. But I think today we're gonna go with the cheaper option because I have to split it among four dogs. So it's not, it's not like it used to be where each dog got 32. Each dog gets 16 now. <laughs> so, oh dear. All right, should that be enough for the week? I think that's enough for the week. And I'll spend one stack on backup food. So let's go ahead and we'll get chicken, rice, and apple. A whole bunch of it. So that we have some backup food that I'll put inside the kitchen just in case I run out of other foods. All right, there we go. So we got the dog food. Hey, Lily. I got your pig's ears. Lily girl. Lily girl, where'd you go? Oh, there's Pine. Zipping through the ground. Here you go, Pine. Lily girl, you want your pig's ears? Yeah. There you go, sweetie. Oops, don't want you to sit in the stairs. We don't want to block people's paths. All right. So we got the dogs fed. I need to come in and buy some stuff from Catherine. I don't think I need leather right now, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She does sell a crap ton of string. You guys kept telling me, don't forget she sells string. She sells string. And I, I totally forgot she sold string. So we're going to buy some string. And you guys aren't seeing this, but I think I'm going to buy the rest of the, the cow leather outfit. Because I have just enough coins for farming. So we already have the helmet and the boots. And I know this is ridiculous, but I'm going to get the chest plate. And I'm going to get the leggings. And that's my splurge. That's my splurge right there. Because oh, now, now I feel like that was totally worth it. All right, and then the bound leather. Uh, I think that's worth it. I kind of want to make my coin purse bigger now. Talk about an ego, you know what I mean? Um, but let's spin this on the string first. If I had known it was this easy, I would have been over here. You guys kept telling me she sells string, and I was like, oh, but it'll probably just be faster to grow a giant cotton field. No, Siri. No, it wasn't. That cotton field is nice, but it's taking forever. So let's see. Uh, what do we need? I need, I need the large backpack. So backpack... And I want to make a large coin purse. That's a bunch of tan leather. Um, that's right. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I think I need to get, so eight, eight bound leather. And then we have to go tan it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, five, seven. All right, dig around my coin purse. Man, we're going through the money fast, but that's okay. And then... Eight and then oh, <laughs> I need another eight because because <laughs> calf stole Tate's backpack and I'm still missing Tate's backpack. So I guess I need to make like actually I guess that means ah oh, man. See this is why people have chores. This is why you end up with a budget because then you remember oh wait I do have to buy that. Oh man I actually need sixteen because I need a double size backpack. This is just like being an adult. Oh my gosh. All right so we put that there put that there and now I need just one more bound leather Catherine you ended up getting a lot more money off me than I anticipated ma'am I just hope you know that <laughs> I just hope you know that oh dear she's so cute let's see Drat, that's yet another needle dropped on the floor we're a good thing I wore shoes inside I'm glad my dogs didn't come in I don't want them to get needles in their paw pads good morning Blake how's your relation oh still have that chest up there from Kath. How's your relationship with Coco going? She's still watching him from the windows. Very romantic. All right. Um, I think I need some name tags. See, this is, this is so market day. It's just shopping. Shopping in our village. Ooh, should we unlock some of the villagers' trades? Sabai, how you doing? I wandered up to you first, sir. Congratulations. I'm going to get a whole bunch of name tags from you. Oh, yeah, and he's totally our dude for having explored like Twilight Forest because you can bring him meat, meat stroganoff, hydro trophies, uh, spider eye soup. That'll be fun one day. Emily, how you doing, sweetie? She's doing good. Still teaching everybody about rabbits right now. 
Uh, I kind of want to open a villager's trade. Hey, Odyssey! Trading bookshelves, I see. Hmm. <gasps> diamond pickaxe! Not bad! I'm actually... I, I could probably get a lot of diamonds, though, so... We'll, we'll open up trades back with our kids. That's, that's what we should wait to do. Wow, look at all the stuff we've bought on market day! Holy moly! Okay. Um... I think we're okay. Let's go home. We're gonna go home now. And we are going to work on opening up Junior's Trade. I think we'll do that tomorrow, because I'm actually... Oh, hey, Maria! How are you doing? Been a while. And how are you doing? I think there's some new villagers. No joke. I think that there's been some new villagers born. Toby, that's so exciting! Oh, yay! I love having new babies born. Are my dogs following me? Yes, they're just swimming in the ground. <laughs> you two are so funny. That zebra. I still want to catch that zebra, but we'll leave it be for now. All right. So, yeah, tomorrow I plan on spending probably a little bit of time. One of the side quests for this weekend, I will be spending a little bit of time with my boys, helping them out uh, with getting the goats corralled and maybe even getting started on building some of the new houses in their area. So excited about that. Hey, Cyrus. Oh, rare species of rabbit. Like the Sumatran striped rabbit. Oh, give out a shout down below if you guys remember the Sumatran striped rabbit we have covered that rabbit so many times it is awesome we did a zoo bites on it we had him in the zoo tycoon 2 series uh let's see pine and lily you guys hungry oh you are here i got some pig's ears there you go iris iris can't oh, oh i guess she can't eat pig's ears i'm sorry iris here you can have some bison and herb there you go iris all right so there's that Oh, and before we visit the boys, I have to go inside anyway. So, Lily, sit. Tate. You're already sitting. Sorry, Tate. Pine, sit. To get, uh, I need to go inside anyway so that we can get more of... Eh, wiggle, 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 wiggle. The single-use safari nuts, which is what I need the leather for. So, I'm going to uncraft some leather tunics. And I also need to split this into four. So split, 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 16 in each. And we can go ahead and... Why am I doing it that way when I could just do it this way, though? It just occurred to me. <laughs> the string is all going to the same place. <laughs> there you go. So now we've got at least 64 strings set down. I need to get to the uncrafting table. And I put in some of the leather tunics that my boys have given me. And uncraft it into just plain leather, which is so nifty and useful. And then normally Iverson's been really good about letting us have at least six safari nets. So we're going to go ahead and make all of the ones we can for now. I can't believe I'm going to need more slime. That seems so surreal, especially after that mass slaughter that we had to do of all of the bugs. Do you guys remember that? Oh my gosh, it was awful. Oh, I had to step on so many poor bugs just because they were lagging the server. I'm sorry, bugs. I'm sorry. All right, let's see. Uh, so we've got our coin purse. I've got to put the name tags away. Major Calhoun, how you doing? Name tags away. Um, let's go downstairs and cook up the bound leather. So we'll let that get started. And I'll just keep them separate. Whoa! <laughs> no, come back! I'll just keep them separate so I can remember. This one's going to be Tate's backpack. That one's going to be an expansion on the coin purse. But otherwise, it is time to go and meet with Iverson and do a little bit of training with our boys. I'm so excited. There's our emeralds. Oh, oh, oh. And let's go get let's go get lots of coal so we can finish opening up Junior's trades. That's right. My boy still has more trades to give his mom. I'm so proud. So we're going to put lots of coal in our inventory. Is it getting late? I think it might be getting late. Again. Hmm. Well, let's just go do this real quick, and then I'll, I'll let the boys sleep. I really do need to work. You know, every time I see these mushrooms, I know it's a fairy mushroom ring, and we're supposed to go to the pixie world from here, but every time I see these mushrooms, what it really makes me want is pizza. <laughs> it really does. I love mushrooms. You guys have no ideas. I, I think mushrooms are like one of the most delicious things ever. <gasps> dead, 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 dead. 
Boulder! Boulder! Am I gonna have to hire a second guard? Boulder! Junior! JJ! Iverson! JJ! JJ! Where's your brother? Junior! Oh, thank goodness! Iverson, everyone's okay! Oh my gosh, Junior, I was so worried about you! That terrified me! Good, good, you're okay, and you're giving Mama lots of, lots of emeralds. I'm glad, I'm glad, I was so worried about you, Junior. I thought, I thought that the zombie had just eaten my son for lunch, but you're okay. There you go. How you feel? Twirly whirly. I'm so glad you're okay. JJ, I'm so glad you're okay, too. Oh, that was scary. I'll have to get raw beef for you, JJ. Iverson, you're okay, too. No, not you. <laughs> Iverson. <laughs> oh, my boys. I was so worried. All right, one mystery safari net. Two. No, Iverson, please. You guys, Iverson's only letting us do two this week. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, dang it. <gasps> Look, Junior has a new trade. Now he's gonna teach us leather tunics. All right, let's go ahead. We're just gonna do it once. Hey, Junior, you wanna get Swirly Whirly after that? Oh, he is getting Swirly Whirly. Oh, that's exciting. Look at all the villagers. What about me, Mom? Uh, cooked pork chops. Will my dogs eat cooked pork chops? All right, all right. Well, I'll go ahead and put that away for the dogs too. Are you gonna get Swirly Whirly now? Oh, he is. Oh my gosh, look at all of them. They're like, but look, I'll give you botanist shears. For three? Just once. Oh dear, I'm spoiling them. I can't help it. They're just so cute. Iverson, please. May I have more, please? No. He wants us to buy a reusable safari net first. All right, what about you? Hmm? Do you have new trades? Not yet. What about you? I think I just traded with you. Oh, now he gives a steak! Dang! JJ, how you doing, boy? Good. Junior? Not in here. Iverson, what about now? Can I trade you now? Oh, yes! Okay, hang on, guys. <laughs> I started spoiling the villagers, and now we may have gotten in a little bit deeper than I intended. So, one second. It's gonna... Okay, hang on! I know, guys! Oh, they're so cute. I, I don't know why. I just... I can't help it. I love spoiling the villagers. Alright, Iverson, hang on. All right, you guys. Everybody will get their own their own emeralds one day. One day we'll. That's kind of like something I like doing for these ones, is opening up all of the the trades that I can, because they're my rescue babies. They were all once upon a time. Everybody except Iverson was once upon a time a zombie themselves. Oh, you guys, you left the door open. <gasps> get over here. We're having zombie issues, but at least I have another baby zombie for. Uh, putting in with Chad. All right, and Boulder is patrolling on that side now, so I think he realized there was a major error, and he's protecting that curious tinker who's deciding to stay out at night. Whew. Oh my goodness, what a day. What a day, Broomtail, and I'm gonna hug you too, but thank you so much for sticking with me, guys. I love market days. They're just so exciting to get to visit with everybody and see how the town is doing, see some of the stories and the depth of our world continue to expand. Not to mention it was so awesome doing all that shopping. Oh, I felt so rich, and then I actually had to buy the basics. Ah, and then I didn't feel so rich anymore. So tomorrow is going to be a very special day since it's Valentine's Day, and I'm going to have a very special new person hanging out, kinda, sorta, in the staff lounge. So you guys definitely gonna have to see that. I'm all blushy because I'm excited. So it's gonna be fun. I hope you guys have had an amazing day. If you had had all that gold coin rattling around in your coin purse, what would you have spent it on, huh? Let me know and let me know if you remember those amazing Sumatran striped rabbits. Bonus zoo points! If you remember something about those zoo rabbits, some factoid, or the zoo rabbits, I mean bonus zoo points, if you remember about the Sumatran striped rabbit. So. I'll give you guys a wonderful day. Hello. So I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Because <laughs> I was about to say, anyone who comments on that, I'll give you something, but it's a surprise. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.